Hello everybody. This is Mo Crafts. I have not posted in a while because I was planning our wedding. Exciting times. Um, towards the end of planning I realized I wanted to save some of my flowers but I didn't want to spend hundreds of dollars to pay a professional to do this. So I decided to do some research and I found these crystals here at Joann Fabrics. Um, reasonably priced. I think I spent about $40 for six jars. And how you do this is use an airtight container. You place a layer of the crystals on the bottom so that the flowers sit on top. Then you cover them up with crystals and you can put layers in one bin. I think I would, in hindsight, I'd put the fluffy flowers at the top so they don't get crushed by the weight. Um, but I did this right before we left on our honeymoon for a week and came back and then took them out, carefully brushed them off. And as you can see, they kept color beautifully, much better than trying to hang them dry, which I also tried as well as pressing them. Um, I found this way was definitely the best way to keep the color. This is a fixative that I found also um, at Joann's and you spray it on the dried flowers so that it helps protect the color and keeps them stiff. Definitely want to use this in a well-ventilated area. I would probably do this outside if possible. Um, I did this in my basement with windows open and doors open. It was still very strong, so be careful with that. Um, it doesn't really say how much to spray, so I just it sprayed till I felt like you know that was enough. It does not take a long time to dry, probably 20 minutes. Um, and then you can go ahead and start arranging your display. Uh, I found the shadow box at a craft store half off, so that was nice. It was 15 bucks, I think, and it's a 12 by 12, pretty deep, uh, two inches deep, which is nice for the big roses. I uh, played around with the layout before I went ahead and either I did a combination of pinning them down and hot glue. Um, the bottom is a fabric cushion, uh, so you could pin it on or glue it on. And that's our wedding program, front and back. I liked the off to the one side look, so that's what I did. I might go back and fill in some of the bottom left there, but very happy with how it turned out and that I had this beautiful keepsake from our very special day. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps anyone who's also looking into preserving flowers. It can get expensive planning a wedding. Uh, so this is one way where I really feel like you can do this right on your own and save money.